everyone welcome back to another meals of the week video i'm glad you all like this new way of filming so i will carry on doing it like this um so yeah i'll try and kind of show you the ingredients and then show it dished up unless it's obviously just something like pizza where there isn't really any ingredients except for i'm shoving a frozen pizza in the oven in which case you don't really need to see it before it's cooked but um yeah tonight we are having uh, hunter's chicken so the boys are going to just have chicken breast with barbecue sauce on done in the air fryer um, they really enjoyed that last week so i'm going to butterfly one of these chicken breasts and do them like half of a breast each because they're quite big um, and then my husband and i will have it as hunter's chicken so i tend to put some barbecue sauce on and wrap it in bacon do it in the air fryer and then when it's cooked put a little bit more barbecue sauce on and top it with cheese and just pop it back in the air fryer for a couple of minutes um and then i'm also going to do some um herby potatoes so i'm just going to dice this these potatoes up and do it with some oil and some italian seasoning in the air fryer um and then we're also just going to have it with some broccoli i might do the, some carrots or some corn or something as well because um henry will eat broccoli but it's not his favorite so i might be generous and do something else for him as well um so yeah that's what we're having tonight i will show it to you when i'm dishing up This night for dinner, we were just having some pizzas. So we did a bit of cucumber on the side and the boys had a thin pepperoni pizza and I enjoyed a ham and pineapple pizza. everyone tonight for dinner we are going to have a red thai chicken curry so i've got a couple of big chicken breasts in here um it was from the one and a half kilogram pack that i bought and um, so i'm just going to dice those up and then i've got some monge too and baby corn to go in as well and then the sauce is just going to be some of this red thai curry paste and some coconut milk it does say on here to use the whole jar but i will taste it and see how spicy it is because the boys are having it as well um and then we're gonna have it with some jasmine rice so i've been a little bit cheaty and got a couple of the ready done jasmine rices just because they do come out really nice and like sticky but steamed so they're like 75p each so i've got a couple of those and then we're going to have it with a couple of bits on the side. So I've got some of the mini spring rolls and also some of the Thai crackers. So I'm just going to fry these up and um, put in the paste and the coconut milk and let it simmer and just serve it with these bits on the side. So I'll come back and show you it when I'm dishing up.
away everyone tonight for dinner we are having another fish dish so um we've got some of the pollock this time instead of the cod this was only two pound fifty for 500 grams um so we're gonna have one of those each they look quite big so i think one will be fine and i'm gonna make kind of a crumb to go on the top so i've got some of these plain bread crumbs that i've had in the cupboard for ages um, I'm going to put in some Italian seasoning. I'm going to grate the zest of a lemon and put it in, and also some parmesan, probably a bit of salt and pepper as well. Um, and then I'm just going to mix in a little drizzle of chilli olive oil to kind of make it so it's not completely dry. Um, and then top that on the fish. So what I'll probably do is do the potatoes and the fish in the air fryer and then when they're pretty much done, just take the fish out and pop the breadcrumbs on the top and then pop in the veg near the end. Um, and I'm gonna do it on the roast setting in the air fryer because if you put things like crumb or cheese or anything on the top, um, I found this out through experience, the air in the air fryer blows it straight off of the top of whatever you've got it on so i learned that the hard way with cheese on top of various things so i'm going to do it on the roast setting and the fish will probably only take about 20 minutes or so um, and then i'll pop the veg in at the end so i will come back and show you when i'm dishing up night for dinner we were having our usual sunday roast so i did a roast chicken we used some of the pigs and blankets i had left in the freezer and i also made some homemade cauliflower cheese we had some stuffing roast potatoes sprouts and carrots and some gravy over the top so it was quite a big and very tasty roast tonight for dinner we are having a chicken dish with some roasted veg so i'm kind of making it up as i go along i fancy doing some stuffed chicken um so i'm going to use some of this harissa paste um which is essentially like red pepper puree basically with a bit of chili and stuff in so you could use like sun-dried tomatoes or red pesto or whatever you've got um i'm going to do that and i'm going to put some cheese in the middle and then wrap it in bacon um, and do that on in the air fryer but on the roast function um, so we're going to have that and then I'm also going to do some roasted veg so I've got potatoes carrots red pepper and onions and I will probably just do that with a drizzle of olive oil and then just chuck in some seasonings probably some paprika and some chili and bits and bobs just to season that up so I will um, do all of this in the air fryer and I'll come back and show you when I'm dishing up
everyone tonight for dinner i am finally getting round to doing our beef stew so i you can see i've had this in the freezer since the 21st of january so it's been in there a while so i've just had that defrosting and then i'm going to pop it in the slow cooker so i'm just going to chop up an onion and a couple of carrots the potatoes i've got some swede that i already um diced up and froze because it needed to be used um so i froze it um, and then I'm going to stick in a tin of chopped tomatoes and also this sachet of the beef casserole mix. I'm just going to add that in to my slow cooker with just a little bit of water because, um, I like I always say, the, the water will come out of the meat and the veg and stuff and then it ends up too watery. So um, just put a little bit of water in and your chopped tomatoes and that will be fine. So I'm going to stick that on now. It's about 12 o'clock. So I'm going to stick that on and just leave it bubbling away until we have dinner at about five-ish. So yeah, I'll come back and show you when I'm plating it up. Thank you so much for watching this Mills of the Week video. I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.